stress And when they lose, we call they phone like yes That hate, if he bust downs and clutch on poles, he lost for me I be fucking this NBA nigga, bitch, you know I ain't never gonna say shit Now on my top, so nigga, what you won't do? I'm with some niggas with no name, when you say something, they like, ooh Don't know who I want, you the one I want, mm. What up, gang? I'm bite with another one. You already know. Hit that like button and subscribe. It's free. Do it for me. Now, let's get into it, man. Your boy, Pleasure P, if you don't know, grind on me from Pretty Ricky. You know what I'm saying? His son is on the run right now for a murder, man. Allegedly, man. Pleasure P's son accused of killing the man leaving the body on the freeway. Marcus Ramon Cooper, 17, is being sought for allegedly roadside murder of Tyron Arthurs in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on October 8th. Um, Pleasure Pete's son is being accused of killing the man and leaving the body on the freeway. You know what I'm saying? Um, Pleasure Pete came to his defense and said, why would a 17-year-old be riding with a 24-year-old at 1.30 at night. You know what I'm saying? So he basically trying to say like. He killed them in self defense. And he innocent mm -hmm. into proving mm -hmm. guilty. You know. Um, just because. I want to say this. Uh, just just because he's 17. And the guy was 24. That don't mean that. You know. It's a lot of uh, older, guy, older guys. Take young guys. And put them up under their wing. Now. It it could have some could have you know took place where he was in fear for his life and he had to shoot him you know what I'm saying but pleasure P argument he got to come with a better one than that one though just because his son was 17 and the guy was 24 that don't mean nothing you know what I'm saying uh, coming up in the streets I, that's all I hung with is older guys like you know what I'm saying? I hung I hung with my homies but. Guys that I really looked up to and stuff like that was all OGs. I hung around OGs. I learned from them. I learned the game from them. And um, that's who I mainly sat around. You know what I'm saying? So the age limit thing is not a good tactic to uh, come with. You know what I'm saying? He got to come with something else. But, man, this is crazy. Like, uh, Pleasure P said, though, I do agree with him. He said, man, my son don't want for nothing, man. Um, so I don't think he did it for you know, no money or no situation like that. Uh, just my thoughts and, you know what I'm saying, all this stuff is allegedly, you know what I'm saying, um, fair use. My thoughts, though, is um, I think something went wrong. I think something really went wrong, you know what I'm saying, and he did it out of probably defending his himself. Like, I, I don't know this kid. This is my first time ever hearing about this kid. This is my first time even knowing he exists. So, um, I don't know his character, but I can say I believe Pleasure P when he say his son don't want for nothing. So, this could have been a situation where his son was riding with this guy and this guy tried to do something to his son. He tried to rob him or whatever. And, you know what I'm saying? Well, argument, dispute, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times you with your friends and... Y'all get in a heated argument, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes y'all do take it too far. But my thing is, his he should get his son one of the best lawyers. And his son should turn himself in because being on the run is only look make you look guilty. You know what I'm saying? Your dad got money. Get you a good lawyer and turn yourself in, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? His dad should even know that. You know what I'm saying? By him having money someone should reach out and be like, look, if he stay on the run, then he, he's looking guilty. You know what I'm saying? So, Pleasure P, get your son a great lawyer and have him turn himself in and plead his case. You know, um, like I said, we don't know why this took place. Nobody knows, but Pleasure P, son, and the victim, so, and God, so, um, as the story unfold, you know, I'm going to let y'all know, but uh, arrest one is issued, and as of right now, he's on the run. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, gang. I know y'all been hearing some crazy stories, right? But we're going to get to the bottom of it, all right? Innocent until proven guilty, all right? Innocent until proven guilty. That's just what it is, all right? 
crazy that we got to go through these things as parents and stuff like that, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? They can say a million things, but they don't, how do they know? You know, I got a lot of questions as a father. I went on a rant last night. I was kind of out of my character, but you know, I have some concerning things as a, as a father, like, you know, and that's just that, but I ain't going to talk on it too much because they told me, um, you know, not to speak on it, so. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this, look, this, so this is a, uh, a chicken Philly. You know what I'm saying? You get it from this spot called Ishka Bibbles. Every time I come to Philly, I have it. This is cheese fries. You know, I'm just trying to keep my mind occupied while going through all of this. Some of y'all don't know, a lot of the nights on the Millennium Tour, I've been going through this behind scenes and, you know, crying backstage and still having to perform for y'all and stuff like that. It's a lot that goes on with being an artist, you know what I'm saying? People just expect so much of you, but I'm human just like anybody else, you know? Feel me. <laughs>